Hey everybody, it's Emma. Thank you very much for joining me today. I am bringing another installment of the Wear All the Eyeshadow series. And today we're going a little crazy with it. So this was a limited edition palette from last year. Uh, last year, I'm pretty sure. I'll check as I do. Um, this is the palette Hemporary Solutions. And as you can see, it's just a bunch of crazy bright shades. So we're just, uh, we're going to play with this. I tend to use these kinds of colors. So I'm thinking I might make myself use these kinds of colors just, just for fun. Now I already have my brows on, as you may have noticed. I'm going to first use this Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. Do, do, do. There it is. Now I do also have the um, Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette in case I need to ground this a little. And actually I think, <laughs> I think that's where I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and go into Cashew Chew and just bring that along the um, crease, brow bone area. All right, I think I'm gonna do some sort of sunsetty thing with these pinks and oranges. So actually, let me go into, let me go into, I'm grabbing now the Real Techniques shading brush. I'm gonna go into this pink shade. Now these are all matte-ish. They don't have, the only two shimmery shades in this palette are these two. All right, and I'm gonna bring that um, pink shade into the inner corner. That's quite vibrant. Yeah, inner half. This is one of those palettes that kind of sits in my collection and I think, oh man, those are so pretty and I never use them. So that's part of the reason for this series. Then just using that same brush, I'm going into this orange shade. I'm focusing this on the lid for the moment. I am probably going to do a very typical kind of winged out shape, we'll see. So I'm gonna take a small angled brush. This is a Real Techniques eyeliner brush, limited edition one. I'm going into the red shade in that palette and I'm gonna draw a wing out. Or a wing shape out. I'm gonna try to do this even-ish. And then back into that a shadow brush and blend. I want those edges to be quite soft and I might go in with a cotton pad to you know, clean that up a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, I'm going to go back into the shading brush. Why do I say that? I'm going back to the shading brush. I'm not going in the brush. And I'm just going to reapply the orange and the pink. Although I have to say these all do appear to just blend right on into each other. They're very pretty colors and I mean it works I suppose for this kind of look. Yeah, actually as I'm building up on these colors they do, they differentiate a little bit more although I doubt that's coming through on camera. And then I'm just using that shading brush. Since they're all, I'm not too concerned about them being completely separate color-wise. I'm just gonna use that shading brush to add a little bit more red. Again, just blending the, the top end of that. All right, I'm just taking a little uh, Mercilla water, cleaning up, or attempting to clean up the end of that. Just use a little bit of that makeup remover to uh, clean off the angled brush. I'm going to go into that yellow shade. Hmm. 
It's not what I expected, but I kind of like it. So it's not as like, oh my god, yellow. Um, as I was, oh, there we go. Feeling it won't last though. Um, I'm just good. Obviously, as you can see, placing the yellow in that little gap. And while I had kind of imagined this to be a bam yellow, it's kind of cool that it's a little bit more blendy. I mean, I could definitely make it bam yellow if I wanted to by putting a white base underneath or something like that. We're just playing. And then I'm going to just do the same thing on the inside corner. Just to cut down on time, you've seen me do it before. I can link videos where I've put my face on uh, elsewhere, but I used my Show Some Skin foundation from Buxom in Tickle the Ivory and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer under my eyes in uh, Light Ivory. I'm just gonna throw some mascara on. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put liner or anything on. So I figured I'd put the mascara on first see where we're at. I really like how this turned out, I have to say. For the moment, I'm going to keep this on just the top lashes. I'm going to just let that hang out for a second. I'm feeling like maybe just using some bronzy shade. We'll see. I'm going to start with this kind of bronzer shade from the e.l.f. Blush Quad in Lights. As you can see, I'm putting that on the apples of my cheeks. And this is an e.l.f. Um, blush brush. This is a matte shade, by the way. It's up to the hairline. I could be using the actual brush I use for bronzer for this. And that's the Real Techniques blush brush, which to me is way too big for blush. It works great for blon uh, for bronzers, <laughs> for bronzers. Bring that down my neck so, you know, I match the rest of my body. <laughs> I don't think I can not wear blush though. I mean, obviously I could, but I don't think I'm going to. So the shade that I want to use is this one down here, but it's got glitter in it, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So I'm just going to kind of tap in a little. <sighs> Try to just get the color. For some reason, I already look really freaking glowy. Um, but I'm going to put highlighter on anyway, and I'm going to use my e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Enchanted, still using that same uh, blush brush from e.l.f. also. Got a little out of hand. Just gonna take my bronzer brush and blend that in a little bit more. All right, now for lips, if you watched my most recent Project Pan update, you know that I am trying to use this little baby a little bit more. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Palette. Um, it says lipstick is my vice, and it has these beautiful lipsticks in it. Now, I'm going to go into Vanished, because it's a shade that I've barely played with. And uh, why not play with it now? And at least I figure it'll be a good base to mix other shades in, because it's very nude. It might be a little too concealer lippy. Although putting it on with a brush, it might look fine, kind of sheared out. I actually really like how this looks. It's a little shiny. It could probably get built up to concealer lips, but this level of opacity I think works well. I think it balances well with the all the stuff going on on the eyes. So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, <laughs> Filming it, this feels like this video is a bit of a mess, but hopefully I can cut it together to be some semblance of interesting. Um, 
slash entertaining. Actually surprised at how much I like this look. So I'm curious if you have done a makeup look that maybe is outside of your everyday normal thing or maybe outside of your comfort zone and ended up really liking it. Like, oh, I gotta throw this in a little bit more. Please let me know in the comments below and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.